Hello! Today I'm going to talk to you about the second part of the study of Judges. Um, I had just summarized for you the introduction in which we see the cycle of disobedience, oppression, distress, and divine deliverance. Uh, a term that was new to me that applies here is a condition of apostasy. And this condition uh, refers to a total desertion or departure from one's religion or faith. So I don't know that I would say that um, witnessing a complete desertion of people's religion or faith, but certainly there has been uh, an abandonment of many aspects of the faith that God calls us to. So when we turn to the Old Testament and study Judges, what we see are examples of times when people have been corrupt and have worshipped other gods and gotten themselves into a pretty bad place, which God, quite frankly, let happen. And when people got to a situation where they felt like they just couldn't take it anymore, then they cried out in distress, and God responded by sending them a leader. The, the first example of this is a story of a man named Othniel. So the story begins by saying the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. This is Judges chapter 3 verse 7. The Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. They forgot the Lord their God and served the Baals and the Asherahs. So these are the gods and goddesses of the um, of the Canaanites and Phoenicians. So they're worshiping other gods. The anger of the Lord burned against Israel so that he sold them into the hands of Cushan Rishathaim, king of Aram Naharim, to whom the Israelites were subject for eight years. But when they cried out to the Lord, he raised up for them a deliverer, Othniel, son of Canaz, Caleb's younger brother, who saved him, who saved them. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him so that he became Israel's judge and went to war. The Lord gave Cushan Rishathayim, king of Aram, into the hands of Othniel, who overpowered him. So the land had peace for forty years until Othniel, son of Kenaz, died. So this is the first example from the book of Judges of the cycle that we'll see repeatedly of the people doing evil in the sight of the Lord and suffering for it and then crying out in distress and God raising up a leader and pulling them away from their situation. And this is very relevant for us today and it's relevant for you because anyone who's finding themselves in a situation that they think they cannot abide by for one more minute should know that it is in those times of distress that we, in our weakness, will turn to God and finally cry out to Him and say, Save me! And He will. He will. Just have that faith and believe. Turn to Him, cry out, and know that He will rescue you because God loves you. Amen.